Hello viewers, well welcome to another F1 blog. We had the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix this weekend, I missed a little bit of it so not as much detail on this blog, obviously I've been away in the sticks watching the WRC, but getting back and you know it's good to see the McLarens doing better, it was disappointing Sebastian Vettel got pole yet again, you know that, that car is so quick, he is so one with that car at the moment, he's able to maximise it on every single type of circuit layout and it's amazing really how consistent he's been. Round turn one, turn two, his tyre gives out and that grants Lewis Hamilton the lead. And Jensen, unfortunately, is swallowed up by Fernando Alonso, who looked very racy this weekend. It has to be said, very positive for Ferrari. They were expecting to give up on development of this car earlier this year. And obviously, developments for next year's car are yielding results for Fernando now. Very positive for Ferrari. They expect to be very strong next year as well. For Lewis, it was a positive race. People talking about old Lewis. It wasn't old Lewis, not in the slightest. Lewis got in the lead and he held the lead. Good for him. He needed that boost at the moment. Uh, but as for old Lewis, I think when he came out and said something about, you know, oh, I didn't want to hit, f you know, Vettel and I wanted to avoid him and everything, it, I just thought it's just not, just not Lewis. You know, it's, you put a smile on his face and everything else. But, you know, it, there is things he needs to sort out and hopefully you know we, next year we'll see new Lewis back again you know we'll see the the the, the fight and the aggression and the passion and the you know everything that he's had in the past I think he's just needs to get that back and I think this race was good for his confidence you know he held out in the lead he pushed hard his tyres handled you know lived their lives pretty well I think there was a concern earlier in the season that his tyres kept giving out and Jensen kept coming back at him and all the rest of it uh, Fernando Alonso as well, a fantastic race from him, you know, probably driver of the day, he, you know, he rinsed the power out of that Ferrari and it's just great to see his commitment you know, and his maturity in that team, you, know, you can see they're one together and once they get that car just a small amount faster he will be a force to be reckoned with and I think next year things could be very very different. Jensen Button, all kinds of problems for him, uh, Kurz, all the rest of it, I mean Kerr's turning on and off. Uh, James was mentioning affects the braking, and uh, you know it's, it basically means you, when the Kerr's is, is is on, you don't need to brake as hard into a corner relative because of the way the Kerr's uh, grabs the energy from the rear wheels. So uh, unfortunately, uh, he was having problems with brake bias and brake adjustment all afternoon. I think he did very well under the circumstances to keep that that place from Mark Webber. Mark Webber, it's just not been his year, has it? I mean, I've said before, I mean, do I believe that Mark Webber is a second slower than uh, Sebastian Vettel? No, I don't. Uh, is it down to them having different cars? Who knows? Is it down to Mark Webber's difficulty in adjusting to the tyres? Quite poss possibly. Um, he might not have adjusted to the Pirelli tyres this season as well, and that's something that hopefully they can fix through next year. So things aren't as straightforward as I always seem between drivers and cars. You know, you see guys come into Formula 1, and then when they're in Formula 1, suddenly they just don't perform as well as they did in lower formulas and that's just about adapting to the cars, adapting to the formula and you see that in all types of racing, especially at top level. Um, from him though, obviously through the pack, I mean, the Abu Dhabi just doesn't generate much in the way of racing, does it? I mean, the cars all kind of split up after the first few corners and, you know, everyone's in their own race from there, really. Uh, I would say the most disappointing team of the day has to be Renault. You know, from a start, a promising start to the season, you know, they, they, they're obsessed with getting Kubica back in the car and the doctor's reports from Kubica are just have never been positive enough to suggest that Kubica was going to be back in the car at the beginning of the next season and yet they've been constantly pushing for Kubica to do that. I mean, it seems to me Kubica's going to need a good couple of years and though he might be back in the car next year, I would have a concern uh, that he's not up to 100% and I think that's something that the doctors will be looking at and making sure that he is 100% before he sets foot uh, in, in, in a Grand Prix again and, and does what we all know he can do and as ever we wish Robert Kubica so well but Renault's focus seems to have got lost this season their development seems to have fallen behind and it's been a very negative season for them as well um, Toro Rosso, it's funny actually, you know, Red Bull win the World Championship and Toro Rosso go a little bit faster, you know, bits of parts of technology start being given around and it mixes things up for the lower teams and the focus is on the lower teams at this time of the season Michael Schumacher had a few problems, lost a couple of pieces off his car, had a puncture. Wasn't a great day for him. Again, though, no, Nico, Michael, watch them next year. They're going to be fantastic. Mercedes will be back. Michael and Ross Braun have been a great, a legendary pairing. 
and with the right resources and the right people in the right place they're bound to do pretty well in the weeks ahead so so far so good then Abu Dhabi not lots of news on that race at the moment we look forward to Brazil in a couple of weeks time and a bit more news and finding out what's going on as well uh, between all the different teams and developments and I'll be following that hopefully with photos and screenshots which we don't have on these videos yet and hopefully next year if we can get that sponsored and we get some photos and stuff for you guys give me a lot more to talk about that's it for now viewers on the F1 Grand Prix for Abu Dhabi more very soon